You know, truly, we live in a clown world when a complete fraud, a fake, a guy that can switch his accent and switch his entire personification on a dime has the ear of the leader of the free world and his only goal is to disarm you. Yeah, it's part of the Tennessee Three, and he he's at the White House right now, and he just dropped 13 bills in his home state right here. Also, we have to watch this. Regardless of where you live, we have to pay attention to these gun-grabbing frauds. It's a mess. So by the end of this, you'll know what's going on. So buckle up. Here we go. This big mess is brought to you by AccuFire Technology. Huge selection. They make things like rifle scopes, thermal, spotting scopes, night vision, red dots, and a whole lot more based out of Dallas, Texas. My favorite thing about AccuFire is that they have over 50 people in the industry that are experts that test all of their products. So they put them through the ringer and that I do like. Huge selection, so regardless of whether you're going for little or big or distance or nighttime or spotting, spotting is super important. They've got you covered, jump over there. There's a link right down below. Check them out, big folks, or big, <laughs> big, big folks, big thank you to the folks at AccuFire. They got a lot over there. Go check them out. All right, you people, thank you for every thumbs up. All right, so if you weren't watching, I, I think most of y'all were, they had the whole Tennessee Three thing, which was a complete farce. It's about the children. No, it's not. It's about the furthering of Marxist ideologies and the disarmament of the population and nothing else. I don't buy any of it. From the very beginning till now, I buy none of it. I believe the entire last 90 days was orchestrated, and I think we have more coming. Out of that, and Steven Crowder has done a great job showing that this guy, Justin, Justin Pearson, has uh, been a complete fraud. He had one voice when he was in college, and now he's trying to be Martin Luther. That was a terrible Martin Luther. Uh, yeah, he's trying to be, and he's, he's just awkward. Like he's awkward and he, he just, he's not, it's, it's, it is so contrived. So contrived that uh, he was accepted to the White House today and the Tennessee Three sat down with Biden. And what did they talk about? Here's, and I quote, your, this is Biden sniffing. He took a break from uh, sniffing on children and said this quote, you're still standing <laughs> up for our kids. You're standing up for our kids. You're standing up for our communities. And what the Republican legislator did was shocking. It was undemocratic. Push that narrative. It was undemocratic. Was it? Was it? Was it? Biden has had 24-hour-a-day armed security for almost 50 years. 24 hours a day. But he wants you and your children to be left unprotected. That is the goal. Moreover, and this, this really does have to do with, with all of us. I know this is in Tennessee. The, the state legislature has got a lot of bills that are in committee. The legislature has now convened for their session, so they're done. All of those bills die in committee. The rhino, Bill Lee, who, who used, to be, used to be read, he has now decided that he's threatening to hold a special session to bring everybody back and 13 new bills were dropped in the state general assembly right here. Including, I won't go through all of them, there's a couple that are, that are important. One, and I'm always saying this, gun control is always about end arounds, is trying to have this one bill, HB 1583, requiring individuals who reside in the state, if you own one, to maintain liability insurance of no less than $300,000. Jared said today that he heard that they're, that they're threatening up to a million on that. That would essentially eliminate all poor people. The disarmament of poor people has been around for 155 years. Disarming of poor people, always. That They love doing that. And also the other one is that this bill was dropped by that fraud to make it illegal to manufacture any semi-autos in this state. Any semi-autos. Smith & Wesson moved here to Maryville last August and September. Just got here. You think they're going to sit back for this? No. Th that bill has no chance, no chance of going through 
but some morons pushing it and made his way to the White House. Now, I'm not going to go through the rest of them. They're all bullcrap. Billy is continuing to push red flag laws because he's a fraud as well. Remember, this is about nothing but disarming you, and that's not hyperbole, and that's not slippery slope, and that's not the sky is falling. The sky is fallen. It's already fallen and sniffy, and all of them will continue to have 24-hour-a-day armed security while preaching garbage about protecting the kids. This guy has run his tongue down the throat of a minor in public and wants to lecture us on how we treat kids. I ain't buying none of it. That Justin dude, biggest fraud in America. Name me a big one. So we're watching the situation, but this is what the gun grabbers are out to do. We all need to watch this and stay on our toes. Let me know down below what you think. Thanks.